morning class this is our third uh, actually fourth uh, class about cytology the cell and now we will move forward towards the second part of it the bacterial cells I just would like to remind you about the main theme that we have already done in uh, our previous lectures or classes. We agreed that the term cell does not mean cell phone nor detention cell in the girl. And we define cell as the cell. The cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of the organism. It is to say the, the smallest structural and functional unit of life. Also, we uh, have two uh, rules or bases we agreed on. First, that the structure matches the function. So whenever we have a special structure, we, may, uh, uh, we, ma we will have a special type of functions. Also, we agreed that the three and three, when we compare the rule of three by three, when we compare uh, the uh, plant cell to the animal cell. And we said that we have three similarities, which are the uh, cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. And at the same time, we have three differences that belongs only to a plant cell, which are the chloroplast, the cell wall, as well as the uh, uh, permanent large vacuum. So this is the main thing that we have it. And let us take a break and go forward because today we are going to study, we will study the bacterial cells and you, you know that bacteria is uh, representing the prokaryote cells. Talking about bacteria, let us go first. Bacterium is a singular, is a word that denoting or a term that denoting one cell of bacterium. If it is more than one cell, it's plural, means that this is called bacteria. So bacteria is a term for many than one, more than one uh, cell. Okay, so this is a sketch that telling us about the bacteria. It has some similarities with post animal and a plant cell, and also it has another similarity that is only for the plant cell. However, it also has um, something different from both of them. Let us go for the similarity of the three types of cell, the bacteria, the animal cell, and the plant cell. It has a DNA. The difference of the DNA here, it is a cellular DNA. It is a linear DNA in case of uh, plant cell and animal cell. Why? Because plant cell and animal cell belongs to eukaryotes, while the bacteria belongs to prokaryotes. And this is the main difference. And we know that the prokaryotes do not have nucleus nor chromosomes okay it also has a plasma membrane the inside line of this yellow uh, or or uh, deep orange uh, area so the inside line is called the plasma membrane the plasma membrane present in the three types of cell the bacterial cell the animal cell as well as the plant cell the cytoplasm which is the white color here it is the same. It is present in all three uh, cells, the animal, plant, and bacterial cells. Also, uh, it has uh, ribosomes, which is present in all of them. Ribosome is 
an e an, an electron microscope organelle you can see it by light microscope the other three the plasma membrane the dna which is representing as a dot or cellular uh, like this and also the cell wall with uh, the cytoplasm could be seen by light microscope so this is an electron microscope and also it present in all of them okay now here we have three differences that are not present in uh, either the uh, animal cell nor the plant cell the first one is called the plasmid and we are going to talk about this and what is the function of it the second one is the capsule which is an outer protective layer and the third thing is the flagellum and the flagellum is the or the flagellum the flagellum is the uh, uh, web like structure uh, which might be uh, in one pool like this sketch or in two pools or all over the uh, cell the flagellum is used for motility and we are going to talk about this so now we have the bacterial cell and we uh, compare it to the animal and plant cell we see the differences between them from the structural point of view and we are going to deal with each one and what is the important thing the main thing uh, the main differences between the cell wall is the uh, compound that the main compound that form it let us take a break for a moment couple of moments and um, now we would like to go and talk about bacteria in general so we can fix the information that we have it in the previous slide but before we go forward i would like just to remind you whenever we see um, a green check that means uh, this is in for this information is found in your book however when you see the sp the stop sign uh, that means this information is an added information and it is important for your knowledge it is not in your book if you go to your course book uh, recommended by the uh, Cambridge you are not going to find it we here added in uh, this information for you now let us go first before we start and define bacteriology bacteriology is a terminology that is made of two words bacteria which comes from bacteria and ology factory and ology factory is for bacteria ology is the science so bacteriology is the science that deals with bacteria bacteriologist is the scientist who deals with uh, and research the uh, bacteria okay and try to find facts about them now we said that last time bacteria are prokaryotes uh, a prokaryotic unicellular organism that means it's formed of, of one cell the whole organism is made of one cell and this cell belongs to the prokaryote that means the group of uh, organisms that has no have no uh, uh, well developed nucleus in their side they are a thousand times smaller than do plant and animal cells and can only be seen under light or electron microscopes you cannot see them you by your naked eye they are deprived of nucleus because they are prokaryotes and also mitochondria they don't have mitochondria very important this one 
because we are going to deal with mitochondria when we come to the respiration and we are going to see something different here we have two types of bacteria depending on the way that they eat the way that they have their food either autotrophic bacteria or heterotrophic bacteria autotrophic bacteria those are the type of bacteria that they could synthesize their food by themselves using the food to synthesis because they contain chlorophyll while heterotrophic bacteria they feed from external environment eating everything from there and are unable to contain their own food they can't make food by themselves they can't make it so some bacteria are pathogenic pathogenic means they cause diseases they are able to cause diseases to harm the human or animal or other uh, organism like the vibrio cholerae the vibrio cholerae bacteria which cause cholera to human you know that the disease cholera uh, the cholera disease could be caused by a bacterium called vibrio cholerae some bacteria are useful and being used to manufacture enzymes yogurt yogurt and a single cell protein so some bacteria uh, are, are useful and we can use them uh, in our life uh, they can make uh, yogurt for us they can make some enzymes that are needed by the human and also they can uh, make a uh, special and single cell protein have a break for a couple of seconds and uh, now here as usual we are going to study the structure first and then we are going to uh, take the uh, structure with us uh, because the structure matches the function and we will try to do uh, what we can do to fix this information in our mind so the cell is wall uh, the structure and function of this cell wall the structure is made of peptidoglycan and marine or marine if you like compounds but not cellulose and this is very important because this is a distinguished difference between cell wall of the bacteria and the cell wall of the uh, plant uh, the function of it it protects the uh, bacterium from adverse environmental condition it it it, it uh, protect the uh, bacterium from uh, the bad environmental condition like uh, the uh, high temperature uh, water floods um, scarcity of food everything is gonna be okay uh, support the bacterial cells and inhibit its piercing due to severe water intake very important ours or give the bacterium it is regular shape then the second thing is the structure of the cell plasma very important it is pressed tightly inside the surface of the uh, cell wall and made up of protein layer sandwiched uh, with a bilayer of fats and this is very important function control the movement of molecules inside and outside uh, of the cell it that means it is partially permeable and by partially permeable that it selects the uh, uh, molecules that get in or get uh, out of the uh, cell and it is very important and this we call it partially permeable membrane or selectively permeable uh, membrane uh, here I would like you to 
just remember the uh, green check uh, box. The green check box says that this is present in all bacterium and also it is present in your book. Now the cytoplasm, the uh, function and the structure of the cytoplasm, structure is the jelly-like or colloidal material. Uh, function resemble the internal cell environment where metabolic reactions take place. And remember, by metabolic reactions, we mean that those types of chemical reaction that happens inside an, a living organism. The same reactions could be uh, happen in the lab, in, 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 in your lab, in the uh, school or uh, in the lab, any lab in the world, but is not called metabolic. Metabolic reactions are the chemical reactions that happens inside the cell or inside a living organism. Harbor cell organism, so it is a, an external environment, internal environment for the cell, but it's the external uh, environment of the organelles, and also all the organisms are swimming inside the uh, cytoplasm. Uh, circular DNA, or also called the bacterial chromosome. It's also called the bacterial uh, chromosomes. Coiled circular single stranded DNA loop. When we say single stranded, uh, we are going to talk about this when we come to DNA structure, but DNA is either formed with one thread or two threads. When it is one thread, we call it single strand, single stranded or two strands we call double stranded so here it is made of one single thread of dna or strand of dna function it contains a genetic code uh, for each bacterium provide instructions for protein synthesis and not only protein synthesis but the prop proper uh, sequence of protein because protein if, if, if I have a protein that is called A, P, C, D, and then I change P, it becomes B, A, C, D, this is a second protein. We are going to talk about that when we come to protein synthesis. It's going to be near where you can understand this. Again, do not forget that the structure matches the function. Couple of seconds for fresh now we have those three features it is important uh, to let you know that those are present in some bacteria and not all types of bacteria some bacteria are deprived of those three okay they don't have those three together the plasmids, which is the first one, is present in your book. The slime capsule or the flagellum are not. So do not um, panic or do not see that they are not important. They are all important. So be careful about that. Again, do not forget or remember always the structure matches the function. So what are the plasmids? are small circles of DNA, are small from the structural point of view, they are only small circles of DNA. What are their functions? Used for genetic modification of cells and organisms. Very important and it comes a lot in your test. Be careful. The two that they are not present in your book are the slime capsule and the flagellum. The uh, structure of the slime capsule is a polysaccharide. So it, from the chemical point of view, they are polysaccharides. They are not peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan is important 
or the main constituent of the uh, bacterial cell wall and uh, it is a polysaccharide layer that lies outside the cell envelope and is thus deemed part of the outer envelope of the bacterial cell so it is a part of the bacterial cell function made by the bacterium for extra protection against adverse environmental condition so it is for protection for more protection actually it is like the shield it is another shield that cover the bacteria and also play a role in uh, elongating the lifespan of the bacteria against the uh, adverse or bad environmental condition. Flagellum, the structure, it's, bacteria can uh, have one flagellum or several. It could have only one, maybe more than that and they can be either polar that means in uh, one or uh, several flagella at one spot or one pole of the uh, or peritrechus peritrechus means several flagella uh, all over the bacterium surrounding the bacterium cell uh, all primarily motility organelles and also they are important for chemostasis uh, chemotaxis. Chemotaxis is the attraction of uh, bacteria to uh, either other cells or food or chemical uh, triggers. This is all about the bacterial cell. Okay, now we come to the end of this class. Uh, we finish the bacterial cell, all about the bacteria and how they are different uh, from uh, the other two cells. They belong, as we said that, they belong to the uh, prokaryotes. I don't want to repeat again what I have said already. Uh, and um, next we uh, will move towards the uh, different are the cells are uh, and, and try to answer the questions are the cells are dif uh, similar or different we are going to do that in the next uh, class uh, I hope you enjoy this class uh, bacteria is is nice when when you go deep in biology you will feel that you will see that uh, it is very enjoyable part of biology and I myself I, I specialized in bacteriology um, this is my specialty uh, thank you for having me and continue working with me um, I wish you good luck and have a good day see you next time <laughs>